Hello there, my name is Michael Hedingsø Svindt. I am the dev manager on the Dynamics NAV client. I would like to show you a prototype I've been building for running Dynamics NAV on Windows Phone 7. Um, let me start by starting the actual app, running in the emulator, as you see here. Um, so this is the Dynamics NAV app uh, on Windows Phone 7. Uh, what you see here is the home screen on the, of the app. Uh, it's the Envision home screen uh, built together with the UX team. Um, and uh, the role center here is kind of for a traveling salesman. He can see uh, different orders uh, open here on the stacks that are relevant for his customers. He can see uh, some customers nearby using the GPS location uh, from the GPS built into the device. Uh, you can see uh, information about some places of the plan where you with some customers you should go and visit today and other KPI information relevant to him. Right? This page is a hard-coded page currently. It doesn't really run on, on, on live uh, NAV pages, but uh, could easily be built based on the road set in, uh, information that we have built for the wind client. Um, so let me show you some uh, real NAV pages running on Windows Phone 7. And if I slide out here, I get a kind of just a list to some pages in NNV. This is real pages. And the first one here is the customer list place. And if I start here, we're actually starting up the real NV application. Uh, so this is the customer list rendered on the Windows Phone 7. Um, the customer list place, the actual customer list place in NV has not been changed at all to run here. It's the same metadata that, the, uh, the, that we put in. And, and and so the partner would really not need to do anything just to make uh, pages run on the phone. Um, and if he wanted to change uh, something uh, to to maybe better fit some uh, Windows Phone scenarios, it would all be the same tools that he used to that he would use to build these pages, the same tools that he used to uh, for building all the other pages, and he could write AL code and so on. Right. So it's all the same tooling as he used to. But let's look a little bit more at these pages. Uh, I can of course scroll here, and what you see is that we have broken the lines into this kind of wrap line, so we can fit more information um, on the phone screen. And if I click here, I get to the actual customer card. I can see the information from the customer card. Again, I can scroll to see more. And what you see here is the the fast tabs kind of rendered into these tabs on the phone. If I click here or slide here, I, I slide between the different uh, uh, tabs or fast tabs that you will normally see in RTC clients. But now they're rendering uh, optimally for the Windows Phone display target and it shows uh, this information in this way here. Uh, let me show you uh, another page. We go into the sales orders. Again, we see the sales order uh, list place here. One I want you to show here is some actual actions running. Uh, and if I click down here, I see a list of actions. These are the actions that will normally be promoted into the ribbon interface that we are used to from the RTC client. And if I click new here, we go into creating a new sales order in the card. Start by clicking here number. We get the number auto generated as we are used to as the AL code produced here. Um, and here I can type in a uh, sell to customer. And let me start by typing in a wrong one to show you that validation is running uh, in this prototype. And let me step back and type in the proper run. The validation goes away. All the triggers are run. I get the auto uh, filled uh, uh, fields show just like I would used to do in the when I create a sales order. And in this way, I can go to the other cards and type in all kinds of other information and, and, and just create a sales order ring. So again, there was no need to, to change the page. It just worked out of the box. It's a very powerful way, and this really shows that the, the client architecture we have with different display targets enables uh, an easy way to, to actually create a new display target run on Windows Phone 7. So thank you very much.